Hey everybody, welcome to Test Chamber. I am Kyle Hilliard, and we've got Andrew Reiner here. Hey Kyle! And Ben Reeves. Hey Kyle! And we're playing Transformers Rise of the Dark Spark. Uh, so I'm playing the game, and I just, I'm just i playing Soundwave. I just sent uh, Rumble into this little hole. I have no idea what he's doing in there. Ben Reeves, what do you think? I think he's rumbling. <laughs> I hear a little rumbling. Is that what there. they call it on Cybertron? Yeah, Cybertron? who knows? They're robots, right? Yeah, so he, he finished in there. He finished rumbling. And it's it's a really? joyous event. You can see the uh, the light. It was a rumble <laughs> in the box. He saw the light. Oh, man, I'm going to Oh, die. there you go. I like that one, Kyle. Thank you. Uh, you know what, Reiner? This looks a lot like uh, High Moon's Transformers game. But it isn't but High it's Moon. it's not. Yeah, you're No, right. it's not. It is Edge of Reality. And, uh, you know, Ben, I got to tell you, these last or the first couple levels have been rough. Um, the first one especially was a very, very uneventful kind of shooting gallery. Hmm. So I just leveled up there. Um, you saw I got some gearboxes. I'm going to... Rumble's already ready to go again. <laughs> they're very, they're more advanced than humans Rumble's in every way. ready to eject, it said. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's ready to go. Hey, bugs. But he's got bug problems He's got bugging you. What is going on? I can't move. I cannot move. Oh, are you glitched out? Oh, no. The, yeah, I'm there's totally a, There's a bug. I couldn't do anything, <laughs> there's, There are bugs and I bugs. honestly could not do anything this there. This is the perfect start to the... <laughs> that's awesome. Um, well, yeah, so anyway, I was speaking about polished, it being rough. Yeah. Uh, I don't know what happened there. If, if that bug was grabbing me, if I was supposed to hit him, but I would turn to face him and nothing happened. There's some long load times, as you can see. Um, it's a gameplay feature. <laughs> it is. Gives you some time to relax, right. catch your breath, you know. Read up on the Wikipedia page for the game. Like you can't just go, go, go all the time. You got to pause and reflect. Uh, so we're gonna see Rumble do his business many times here, apparently. And uh, anyway, I got those gearboxes, and I want to show you guys that. So uh, I leveled up. I'm level four. I got gearboxes, not the developer of Borderlands, right? But I it's click confusing. this, and it loads, and then it opens, and I get different equipment. I can. You got use. no HUD. <laughs> That's right. your upgrade is you can turn off your hub. Yeah, so there's hacks you can put in that okay. are... Make the I game harder. Cool. Yeah. At least yeah. you got more than one thing. But usually, uh, you know, I got uh, like classic Prime outfit. I unlocked oh, that's cool. Starscream this way. Really? Oh, and you're only on the second level. There, you're already there I, got, I got Perceptor... Quick shots. Something. And so this game, this game is like a companion game to the next Transformers movie, which I think is called Mark Wahlberg and the Transformers. Yeah, Marky right? Mark and the Transformers. Oh, Marky Mark and the Transformers. Come on. Me. Sorry, uh, I'm not. I'm not a big Transformers guy. So it's Age of Extinction. Oh, you're and marking out. <laughs> Extinction ties in with the Dinobite, Dinobots, which we're all excited to see. Okay. Um, and this and this represents like a crossover between High Moon's Cybertron games and the the Transformer film. Univore, universe. Univorce. <laughs> Univorce. Yeah, that's how they say it in Transformers lore. Okay, cool. The Univorce. The Brian Vorce. <laughs> Do you... So, Yeah, how Reiner, does it tie it together now? It's a prequel to Fall of Cybertron, but it also takes place in an alternate dimension. Yeah, I guess, I guess the dark spark can rip a hole between dimensions, so that's why the two are overlapping. And right. you see that in the first, uh, the first level. Because um, you saw some of the film Transformers. Yeah. And now you're playing as the Cybertron Transformers. Right. I was playing as a weird samurai guy in the first level. That actually sounds cool. No, it was really dumb. No? Okay. <laughs> I mean, he looks I guess like a, he looks just like a samurai. Challenging everything I know about samurai. Well, that's the thing about Transformers. It's like they're on Cybertron. They've never been to Earth. How can he be called Bumblebee? Well, that's what people said about the Dinobots. It's like, okay, why are they dinosaurs? Well, they were made on Earth. Right, in the original lore. But right. then, like... They changed that up, right? But Bumblebee, I mean, do they have those on Cybertron? Maybe they do. Well, but I don't know. This this is getting nerdy, but like in the like old movie, before they crash landed on Earth, well, he was like a hover car, right? They were all like hover cars. Yeah. And then they got remodeled after cars when they landed on Earth. But his name was Bumblebee before. He oh, was I, on I Earth, see what right? you're saying. Yeah, yeah. yeah, he was also called Bumblebee. You're right. I don't know. They were all had the same name, like Sideswipe and all that, right? Here's another one for you: Star Wars Millennium Falcon. Falcon is an Earth bird. It's true. So Earth exists in that universe. Luke? Luke's an Earth name. Might not be so far, far away after all. It's in here in our hearts. So you can transform whenever you want, unless you're in 
boring walking sections where they don't let you do anything. Do you understand what's been going on in the story so far? No. Well, okay, yeah, there was a Decepticon. He got the Dark Spark. It froze time. He got away. We're going to get him. And now we're in, like, the flashback. I have no idea what's going on at this part. Though. So, wait, you're, you are a Decepticon going after another Decepticon? No, we were okay. Autobots. This but is going to get, like, Star Trek plotty. Okay. Yeah, I'm not, like, a... I, 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 was, I was telling you before we did this that I've, I've seen the Transformers. I saw the first film with Shia LaBeouf. And then I've seen, the, I saw the animated film in high school, and that encompasses pretty much all my Transformers knowledge. I think what fans really want to see is Optimus Fine, uh, Optimus Fine, just being fine. <laughs> Optimus Prime, fighting himself, like fighting the alternate version of himself. That'd be really dumb. Do you think that's going to happen? I, I hope not. I mean, they're both good guys, right? Because they have blue lights on them. <laughs> that's how Kyle tells people apart. <laughs> just in general, the blue guys are good, and the red guys are bad. Oh, purple guys are bad. Come on, I, I know what I'm talking about. Purple, yellow, yeah. Actually, purple and yellow is like a really common like okay, I got a new villain color in comic books. I don't know why. There's actually like color schemes just to tell like people apart, like if you're good or bad. Hmm. Like red and blue, obviously that's a hero color. Green actually is sort of villainy. Isn't that weird? Yeah, green and purple, right? Yeah, unless you're the Hulk. Or Green Lantern, he's a good guy, right? He's just green. Oh, okay. Oh, you're talking about, okay, you got to combine colors to start getting into that. Yeah. Yeah. Gotcha. I'm learning a lot today. Transform! Well, so I love the old uh, the High Moon Transformers games. Mm -hmm. I thought they were really great, um, you especially know they, the second one. Yeah, well, the second one was, was the second one technically that movie game that sucked? Oh, yeah, you're right. So the third one, then, is the one that was awesome. Yeah, so, so they this, did. this is more in line with that second one that, I don't know. The it, second real one. Yeah, it's. There was like uh, it feels rushed. War for Cybertron, and then there was Fall of Cybertron. And Fall of Cybertron was really good. If you haven't played it before, it's a really fun shooter uh, about Transformers. Um, and it looks kind of like this, but it sounds like this one's maybe not quite up to that level. Yeah, and I enjoyed the storytelling in the first two to a degree. They did cool stuff with characters. They're doing that again. You know, like I said, I played the weird samurai guy. Uh, I'm playing Soundwave right now. Laserbeak, I used him earlier in the level. Rumble, seeing him is cool again. Um, I also played Shockwave in this level. They just kind of quickly switched me. Uh, there was a flying sequence. You know, very much like like you said, those those old games. There's Starscream, just broken maybe. I think Starscream's broken. <laughs> <laughs> He's caught a bug has him. Uh, I don't know, I'm not going to give you credit on that one. That's a callback to an earlier joke. Yeah, I'm not giving credit. No? No good? All right. Hopefully this is the last time Rumble has to do his uh, ejecting. His Rumble in the box. Callback. Thanks, Cal. You're welcome. So this this looks like the Cybertron engine, though, right? Like Edge of Reality has to be. is developing, yeah. and they probably... Same controls. Yeah. Or very similar. Does um, this have co-op? I don't think so. It has the uh, escalation mode or whatever that's kind of Gears of War sure. horde mode -y. And these videos are compressed horribly. We're playing on Xbox One, and it looks like they compressed them for like 360 or PS3, or even worse. Or maybe they just didn't take the time to do it right. First level, there were a lot of frame rate issues. Um, we had that one weird glitch, what appeared to be a glitch. <laughs> so that's a good guy, right? Because he's blue and red? No, he's bad. Oh, Kyle, you fail. Look at his gun, Kyle. It's purple. Oh, gosh. <laughs> We've been playing as the Decepticons the whole time. Insects Why are they fighting each other, actually? The uh, we're f we were fighting the Insecticons. Yeah, I don't know. I missed some some dialogue, apparently. Well, it looks like everything's fine now. Yeah, they've worked it all out. Just That's how the Decepticons are known to behave. Like, they just work things out verbally, and then everything's fine. Okay, we're going into the vault. Take your word on that, Ben. The Vault of the Dark Spark. I'll use this little terminal. And uh, we'll scatter blaster. I think that was like the uh, the shotgun version, right? And thermal rocket cannon. Right. So here's the hacks. Here's where you can kind of do things to get uh, have less health, do more damage, but you get the XP boost boosts Ooh, if you want. That's kind of cool. Yeah, so well, it's like the skulls in um, you know Halo or something, maybe. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very similar. Let's get in there. So here's uh, Laserbeak. He'll just fly back in me. 
What does Laserbeak do? Is he like He's a, a bird? Why I see well he looks like more like a pterodactyl. Surveillance? To me. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. Uh, he but can, he can help you fight, it looks like. Yeah, he can kinda like peck peck at their robot eyes. Like that. I feel like Laserbeak was like one of the Transformers that was like always on. And he wasn't even like the a big Transformer. But he would always like show up in the show and you'd see him like hovering over a tree and like looking down on people, filming them. You know what I mean? Like almost every episode, it seemed like. <laughs> That's all he did. Yeah. Well, and then you cut to the Decepticons who are like plotting evilly, like, okay, now we're going to go attack. Hold on. We're getting some story stuff here. Let me, uh, let me see if we can get uh, subtitles. At least give you guys some idea of what's going on here. So we just entered a, the door rooms. That's all there is here is two doors. So it's a really secure vault. Satisfied Starscream. Or perhaps the Insecticons have unnerved you. I'm not afraid. That was the door that they used to, to keep people out of aperture in Portal 2. Oh, another door. Hey! <laughs> Should I take that? I, yeah. I kind of like having the rockets. It's a portal gun. It's a scrap maker. So you switch between light and heavy with Y button. Look at Starscream. He's just ready to go here. So what do you guys think? Another count? door? Another door? Or... Oh, oh. come on! <laughs> wow. It's like ground well, wait, wait. Ah! Guys... Or Zelda's, like, force base. How much... Did you guys like Starscream when you were kids? Yeah, I loved him. Really? Yeah, he was just... I mean, he's supposed to be obnoxious, right? Well, yeah. I got that. Like, his voice is clearly... Can you do it? The most obnoxious thing ever. I don't think I can. Like... Ah. <laughs> that's exactly. That's how exactly he how he sounds. I think that that's was all he said cry. too. <laughs> Megatron. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I want some inner John cubes. Uh, that's pretty I close. I mean, that's kind of the stuff you'd say. You're right, right. But he was always vying for power with Megatron. That was an interesting dynamic. He was the worst because he would always Come like. On. He would always take uh, control. He would like seed control. Is like now I'm the leader, and then. Obviously, that backfired on him. And Megatron would never, like, dealt with him. He was always his second in command. He's like, well, you keep trying to steal power from me, but I'll let you, uh, I'll let you keep doing what you're doing. He just gets infinite strikes. Right. He never, like, uh, well, yeah, if I was an evil leader, I'd just kill him, right? There's some weird graphics going on in the metal. You see that when I move? Like, the light on the metal? A little shine. It looks fuzzy. It looks like a yeah. TV that's, like, not getting a signal. Even on the walls here, you see that? Hmm. Yeah, that's weird. I don't like it. Let's go back to the previous gen. These upgrades aren't working. The short, the floor looks shiny though. Well, you, you can even see, <laughs> you can even see it on the Decepticons though too, like the robots. And the floor. Yeah. Don't like it. It's like the whole world's that way, which Ooh, is weird. We found the purple door. Because you would think you throw it on a more powerful system. Do you think that would just run better, right? That's really jaggy. It, that oh, there it is. Loading. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's loading the texture. Is this now that I see that texture everywhere? It's really driving me nuts. This is out on on um, like Xbox 360 and yes, three. Yeah, well. it's on. It's cross gen. I wonder if that's part of it. They didn't just optimize it for the new systems. Who's that? Who's that? Ben. Who's that guy? That's a uh, silvery silver samurai. Man. Oh, he was just a, a grunt. He looked important. So this gun is powerful, but it takes a lot of time to load up shots. And I have a shotgun. Great, Reiner. Good for long-range combat with flying enemies. You gotta revive your ally. Where? You gotta find him. Is it a uh, sound wave that was down there? Oh, that was Starscream? Oh, so they have health. You see that? Does this have a little lock-on thing when you pull down the trigger? No. When you're flying, there's a lock-on that auto kind of detects the enemy. It takes a little time, which is annoying. But it is helpful once it uh, once it initiates. So you're still uh, you're transforming into a tank or a van? Right? A stupid van. Okay. Yeah, that doesn't make sense. Soundwave Wait, should you're be sound a Soundwave, right? Yeah, he's a cassette tape. Not the van Soundwave? Well, he should be the equivalent. Uh, see, now I'm all upset. <laughs> he should be the equivalent on, on Cybertron of a boombox or something. Just plays old, uh, uh, obnoxious 80s music. Maybe one of yeah, those Walkman. cars that just drive down the street playing music. I don't know. What just would plays, that be? Uh, plays achy, breaky heart at his enemies. Yeah, but I'm a van. Like, who thought that was a good idea? You know, you He's should like be. one of the most famous 
popular Transformers. Who goes with a van? I mean, really, that's you ridiculous. should be a roadie van. Like you have oh. speakers or something. Like you're driving down, you're gonna yeah. set up for. Like, Maybe that's a show. what he is. Let's take a good look here. Yes. After this guy's resurrected, this time. he's green now. Ooh, the green machine. That's kind of interesting, huh? I think that's the uh, the coffin in Dark Souls 2 where you can change your gender. <laughs> right. <laughs> green means boy, white means girl. Is that oh, it? More Transformer color lore? Okay. I always thought it was interesting that they did have female Transformers. There was I mean, like a couple of them. RC. 99% Transformers are men, but then they would have like those random... It's like the Smurfs. Like female ones, yeah. Oh, those, are, those are giant statues of Transformers. It's kind of cool, uh, right? Yeah, but they're ugh, look at that texture. Why would they have like a big pillar in front of them, like totally obscuring? You can't even look at them. That's just bad design. Okay, we wanted to see if he's a cool van. I don't see speakers. Nah, he looks like a stealth jet. That's kind of cool. Kind of looks like the Tumbler, Batman's Tumbler from Dark Knight. Yeah. Well, if he weren't Soundwave, he'd be fine. But he's Soundwave, right? So where are the tapes going? How are the tapes popping out of him? Why does he even have tapes? Yeah, they really messed up their lore, didn't they? He shouldn't have tapes. Maybe there's the tapes that go in the tape player in the Eject. Lane. I'm gonna die again. I hate this. <laughs> so I'm kind of screwed with my weapon setup. Because when I, when I hit the trigger button with this heavy weapon, it's like a Gatling gun. It takes time to kind of right. fire up. And my other one's a stupid shotgun, which isn't good for this arena. So what do I do? I think there's one down... To the right that you could run and grab. Wasn't there another gun down there? Okay. I'll take a look. It's where these loading times are kind of inconsistent. Like earlier it was kind of going quickly, but now this area it's taking longer. Yeah, yeah. It seems like, yeah, there's like boss fights. It loads really quickly, but then these kind of big arenas, it takes time. Should we just keep reloading this, see how many colors there are? <laughs> see all you the said there's a weapon down here. I think, yeah, down into there. the right. What's that? No, that's where enemies are. That's an, that's but a over weapon. to the right. No, that's a weapon, dude, right here. Oh, really? Yeah. I so what was it. that over to the right? But that's the weapon I have. It's trying to give me the shotgun. There's something else over up there, but what's that? Ammo? Ammo and health. So there's the jump strafe, which is kind of handy. There you go. You got, you got this now. No, my shield's gone. You just gotta be clever. It's those little bastards from Halo. Maybe those the the flying whatever they were called. I hate this game. Wow, that went quick. You had full shields and health, and like I'm not doing anymore. Instantly. So it sounds like <laughs> yeah, turn it there up. You go. Help. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> so this game's a trial, not just of difficulty, but of. If you're a Transformers fan, it sounds like it could be yeah. sort of a weird experience. Yeah, it's it's a rough ride so far. That that's what I'll say. And it, you know, High Moon was so good with their big set piece moments. Oh yeah, and just like soaking in the environments and stuff like that. And they kind of tried to go for it in this one with the big statues, but it, I don't know. It just doesn't. It's not as striking. And I haven't seen any of those big moments yet. It's just been kind of gallery, shooting gallery after shooting gallery. I, what I loved about the High Moon ones, you'd walk out. You'd have like rooms like this, but then you'd walk out and you'd see a giant open vista with like all these things happening in the background. And then you'd have like sort of desert like areas or like, you know, different environments with different color schemes, which I thought was really good. So I'm kind of curious if this game will do that as well. Yeah, we'll have to see. This is, you know, level two of, I'm going to show you this. This is level two of um, 14. And uh, I think we've probably shown more of the loading screen than anything. But. You go into the campaign, and they let you see everything from the beginning. So Drift was the weird samurai guy I played hmm. as. Okay. Uh, this is the one we're on right now. Does he transform into a van, too? A samurai? No, van? he doesn't. Sideswipe. Sharp shot. So you get to play as Insecticon. Swindle. Swindle, Swindle for two levels. There you go. And then you... Prime on Cybertron. Jetfire, which is awesome. We all love him. More Prime Cybertron. Bumblebee and Earth. Move. Oof. Two Earth. levels of that. Go back to Dumb Drift. Then you get to play as Grimlock, Grimlock. on 13. So they That's saved awesome. the... Well, yeah, but... But yeah, not until level He's all 13. over the light. He was just in the background there. And then Prime on Earth. And then that's... And that's the end? Yep. You think and you Prime. see how they... If you can read Cybertron, Cybertronian, you can read that text. But, you know, as a human, we can't see that until we unlock it. Oh. Huh? All right. It's pretty clever, cool, actually. Huh? Yeah. And then, yeah, here's Escalation. Uh... I haven't gone into character setup yet. 
You can make your own character. Yeah, so I unlock these. So here's all the stuff that you can, all the characters you can unlock. Oh, don't Good. worry about those. Hey, look at these. Dinobots. Those are cool. Drift. So what is it you didn't like about Drift? He's a samurai. He's got he a has a really, his special attack is, is really lame. It, the functionality is bad and it, I don't know, it's, it seems overpowered. You hit uh, RB and he can, uh, there's a lot of characters there. That was kind of cool. Um, he, he can slash down enemies with one hit. Hmm. and kind of chain it together, but it just doesn't work that well. And and just that first level was blah. I would have started with this one. This one's a little better, but at the same time, it's still not the level of hmm. High Moon's games. Yeah. Well, that seemed like a pretty good look at the game. Yeah, I think so too. Cool. Well, thanks, Reiner and Ben Reeves, for educating me on Transformers. And uh, yeah, there you go. Well, yeah. the dark spark. And uh, you'll find me in the account picker. So Shia LaBeouf, you know, he's he's gone. Is that how you pronounce his name, or is it LaBeouf? LaBeouf? I don't know. He's doing art projects now where you can go you go into a room and stare at him while he stares at you silently. That's and like his full job now. He's doing that, too. <laughs> yeah, it's a whole lot of that. That's uh, He's into that. <laughs> so I was like, who who are the Transformers? What are they? Who? What? I was like, who created them? Are they, like, sentient AI that came from nowhere? And my friend, he just, he just looked at me, and he said, how do you need to be asking these questions about humanity, not the Transformers? <laughs> I don't like your friend. 